Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Diana with By Diana Wilcox Power Yoga. Today's practice is a 45 minute handstand class. We will not be doing handstands all 45 minutes. However, it will be a 45 minute power class with a lot of handstand drills sprinkled throughout the practice. Um, as always, please take care of your body. If you ever need to freeze the video to work on some of the drills, please go ahead and do so. Um, and other than that, let's get started in a seat today. Face the front of your mat. Come into Virasana. Clear the extra glute knee out from underneath your sitting bones. Plant your hands onto your thighs and close your eyes. And a lot of times when we think handstand, something like fear comes up. Right, we're flipping ourselves upside down. So how can we maintain the connection that we create every class in a sustainable way so that we can use that even when we're upside down or sideways or on any different plane? Take a full breath in. Big breath out. Again, breathe in through your nose. Breathe out. Full breath in through your nose. This time, seal your lips as you breathe out through your nose. Take a few more full rounds of breath, breathing in and out of your nose. And especially today, breathe into the back of your ribcage. So much so that you feel the back of your ribcage round and broaden towards the space behind you. Wrap that same fullness into the sides of your lungs, sides of your ribs. The front of your lungs, the front of your ribs. And eventually the very top, so you feel your collarbones and your shoulder blades broaden as a unit. Sometimes I call that collar blades. And breathe in. Keep that fullness as you exhale, squeeze your low belly in towards your spine. Untuck your tailbone about an inch and lengthen the center of your throat through the crown of your head. So create this expansive, natural double S curve through our spine. And this is the same shape we'll be creating today when we're upside down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly blink your eyes open, ecstasy arms, slide your thumbs behind your head, wrap your finger pads around your skull and narrow your elbows. And the more that you squeeze your elbows in, the more you have opportunity to broaden your shoulder blades. Now push your hands into your head and press your elbows forward. In fact, even hinge your ribcage forward. Now press your head back into your hands so you feel your back body fire up. Keep that slowly traction your elbows up towards the sky. Chin out of your chest, breathe in. Breathe out, keep the fullness of your ribcage, flex the top of your feet into the earth so you feel your ankles hollow away from the ground. Same action with your elbows and knees. So squeeze your knees in, now widen your sitting bones back. Keep that, now physically widen your knees back into the earth so you feel your glutes engage. So today, instead of just using our core to do more of a classic handstand, we'll recruit our entire body to do the work 360 degrees. Lean your head back, press your elbows up, breathe in. Breathe out, lift your hips slightly off your heels, arc up and over to your right. Weight your skull down into your hand. Exaggerate your left side body up towards the sky, breathe in. On your exhale, sit back like a squat. On your inhale, pull your elbows towards the right side of the room. Again, sit back like a squat. Inhale, push your head into your hand. Sit back like a squat. Inhale, press your head into your hand. Pause here, now coil your elbows up towards the sky. Slowly come all the way back to center the way you came into it. Arc up and over to your left. Gentle pulses here. As you pulse, isometrically widen your knees into the ground. As you sit back, deepen your hip crease. As you inhale, pull your elbows towards the left side of the room. Take a breath in. Full breath out, sit back, arc your ribcage up higher. Inhale, lengthen your belly. Exhale, keep the length, sit back. One more time, inhale, lengthen. This time, sit back and just twist your elbows up towards the sky. Press your head into your hands, breathe in. Breathe out, come all the way up to center. Extend your arms forward and wide like a V. Today, curl your pinkies, pinky fingers in first. 
We call this seed hands. And almost like you're holding onto a quail egg, hollow the center of your palm away from your fingers. Lengthen your thumb tips away from your ribs until you feel your triceps and your biceps squeeze in. Keep all of that strength, lower your fingertips down onto the earth. Now slide your fingers forward, come onto all fours. Walk your knees in line with your hips. Same thing, flex your feet forward into the ground and widen your knees today till you feel your outer glutes engage. Weight your left shin. Inhale if your right leg up towards the sky. Squeeze your right heel up. First, hug your right hamstring towards your center line. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower your right knee in line with your left. And like a fire hydrant, now widen your right knee out wide. Arc up onto your right fingertips. And here, even though you're widening your right knee, narrow your right knee lower than your right ankle. Now push to the ball of your right foot. Sit your hips back and arc your right rib cage up towards the sky. Baby pulses here. Breathe in. Breathe out. You can stay or walk your left hand off your mat. Walk your right hand forward. Again, little pulses. Isometrically pull your hands in opposite directions from one another and arc your right rib cage away from your right hip crease. Breathe in. Breathe out. Walk your hands to center. Lower your right knee down to meet your left. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Fire hydrant. Pull your left knee forward. So instead of just externally and widening your left leg up, narrow your left knee, widen your left heel instead, and now pull your left knee forward like you're gonna tap into your tricep. Come up onto your left fingertips. Little pulses as you squat back, narrow your knees, widen your sitting bones. Keep that, exhale, pull your left knee forward. Stay here, walk your hands off the right side of your mat if you have space. Pull your right rib cage away from your hips, breathe in. Breathe out, use your glutes to widen your thighs, full breath in, full breath out, walk your hands back, lower your left knee to the ground, I promise it'll make sense later. All right, hands underneath your elbows, energetically pull your hands apart, puff the back of your rib cage up towards the sky, chin out of your chest. So y'all, instead of squeezing your shoulder blades together, puff your heart up, shoulder blade push-ups or protraction push-ups, inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, collapse the back of your heart. So this is an exaggeration. As you drop your chest down, feel the lack of connection to your back body. Now puff the back of your heart up towards the sky. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, protract. Widen your hands, puff your rib cage up towards the sky. Keep going, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. I call these shoulder blade protraction push-ups. As you protract, that's the same action you'll be using as you get upside down. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, protract. One more time, inhale, exhale, pause, energetically pull your hands apart, chin out of your chest, tuck your toes, downward facing dog, variation. That same action, protract your shoulder blades up and away from the earth. Now bend your knees like a squat. From your big toe mounds, try to rip your mat apart, you'll feel your glutes engage. Shift forward to a high plank pose. More shoulder blade protraction push-ups, inhale, lower your heart, Exhale, puff your heart up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. We have about 30 seconds. This is an amazing drill to build strength. If this is too much, you can always lower your knees down to the earth. If you want more, pause the video, keep going. Y'all, tendency is to bend your elbows. Instead, keep your arms straight. You're only using your back body to do the work. Inhale, lower. Exhale, protract. 10, nine, I'm already sweating. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Downward facing dog, bend your knees, breathe in. Breathe out, shift forward to a high plank. Low plank, lower halfway down. Upward facing dog, pull over the tops of your feet. Flex the top of your feet into the earth. Lift your rib cage straight vertical up towards the sky, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Again, high plank, shift forward. Low plank, lower halfway. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Today, wrap your outer right hip bone down. Bend your standing leg deeper, and now bend your right leg to 90 degrees. Keep that, pull your right knee down in line with your left. Fire hydrant, we've already been here on all fours. Widen your right knee towards the right side of the room. Tilt your left ear towards your shoulder. Lift up onto your right fingertips and a few pulses. 
As you inhale, squat back. Exhale, arc your right rib cage up. Inhale, bend your left leg. Exhale, pull your right knee forward. Push your right fingertips down and try to drag them to the right corner of your mat. Keep moving with your breath for five. Pull your right knee more forward. Now widen your right sitting bone. Four. Flare the pinky edge side of your right foot up towards the sky. Three. Y'all should feel your glutes. Two. Three-legged dog. Right leg straight up towards the sky. Step forward. Anjane Asana. Lower your left knee to the ground. Arms up towards the sky. Dig the ball of your right foot down and forward. Push your left knee down and forward as well. And now squeeze your thighs together. Hands to the side of your skull, ecstasy arms. Narrow your elbows, lift your elbows up towards the sky, breathe in. Exhale, crescent up and over to your right. Weight your skull down into your hands. Lift your hand up into your skull, now lean back, trace the line towards the right side of the room, breathe in. Tap your right hip back, breathe out. Again, full breath in. Full breath out, deep breath in. Exhale, twist with your left elbow into your outer right thigh, make a fist with your top hands. Punch your elbow down into your fist. Resist your palm back up into your fist and twist your ribcage up. Big breath in. Full breath out. Again, breathe in. On your exhale, slide your hips back, pull your chin out of your chest, twist. One more time, deep breath in. Full exhale, inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Standing splits, pop your left knee up on the, off the ground. Step into your right foot, fly your left leg up. Walk your hands forward. Inhale, halfway lift, pause here. Bend your lifted leg to 90 degrees. Bend your standing leg deeper and hover your right heel. Now pull your left knee forward and wide. Same dog in a fire hydrant action. Squeeze your outer left thigh up towards the sky. Maybe walk your hands off the right corner of your mat. Pull your left knee more forward. Five. Four, eventually we're gonna press all the way up into a handstand. Three, two, giant step back, low lunge. Three-legged dog, right leg up. Right knee to left elbow, twist. Fall in triangle, fake your four leg, cross your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Bend your left leg like a squat. Interlace your left hand behind your skull, narrow your elbow. Tilt your right ear down. Bring your elbow with you. Now lean your head back. And from your left rib cage, stretch your side body up higher. Full breath in. Full breath out. Keep your figure four legs. Figure four down dog. Left hand on the earth. Bend your leg. Pop your left foot in. Energetically pull your knees apart. Lift your glutes up towards the sky. Little pulses. If you're ready for your figure four handstand hops, last three. Go for it. Two. Three-legged dog. Right leg up. Bend your knee. Open up your hips. Slowly flip your dog up and over. Spin all 10 toes towards the back of your space. Grab a hold of the side of your head, narrow your elbow. Same work, tilt your left ear down. Resist your skull up into your hand to exaggerate your right side body. Now lean your head back, pull your elbow towards the front of your space. Breathe in, breathe out. One more big breath in. High plank, both hands down. Pausing your plank, shift forward. Scapula push-ups. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, protract. Inhale, hug your, your shoulder blades in. Exhale, widen your hands energetically to puff your heart up. Five, straighten your arms all the way. Four, lift your glutes up. Three, two, top of a push-up. Protract your shoulder blades, shift forward. Chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Inhale, float your left leg up high. Bend your left knee to 90 degrees. First, kick your heel towards your glute. Now pull your left knee down in line with your right. Fire hydrant, widen it up to the left. Lift up onto your left fingertips. Like you have a dome of energy, lifting your palm away from the earth. Use that to arc your left side body up even higher. Little pulses, five. Pull your left knee more forward. Four. Widen your glutes. Three, pull your chin out of your sternum. Two, three-legged dog, left leg straight up. Step forward, Anjane, lower your right knee to the ground, arms up. Bend your left knee forward, hover your left heel. And again, instead of going for depth, go for strength instead. So kick forward into the ground to pull your outer left hip bone back. Now from your ribs, 360 degrees lift up. 
Access your arms, hands to the side of your skull. Narrow your elbows, lift up, breathe in. Exhale, arm up and over to your left. Resist your left hand up into your skull. Narrow your right elbow another inch in line with your vision and exaggerate your right side body up. From your right rib cage, lean back, breathe in. Breathe out, full breath in. Exhale, twist with your right elbow into your outer left thigh. Make a fist with your top hand. Tap into your resistance here to deepen into your twist. So widen your left knee into your right arm. Squeeze your right elbow down into your thigh and lift your rib cage up. That gives you space to lean your torso back. Big breath in. On your exhale now, squeeze your low belly in and up. Slide your hips back and twist deeper. Again, full breath in. Now spin your knuckles away from you and lean your head and heart back as you twist. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Standing splits, fingertips down, fly your right leg up towards the sky. Bend your lifted leg to 90 degrees. Kick your heel towards your glute. Press your right leg up higher, halfway lift. Now pull your right knee down, widen it, up, widen it out to the side for fire hydrant. Walk your hands off the left edge of your mat. Cover your heel, little baby pulses, or just stay here in the strength for five. Energetically pull your fingertips down and away from one another. Widen your triceps, three. Now lift your chin out of your chest for two. Giant step back, low lunge. Three-legged dog, left leg up. Left knee to right elbow, twist. Fall in triangle, figure four. Cross your left ankle on top of your right. Interlace your right hand behind your skull. Narrow your elbow. Press your forearm towards the front of the room. Now sit back like a squat. Pause here. Energetically widen the knife edge of your right foot towards the back of your mat. Lean your head back and coil your ribcage out of your hips. Breathe in. Breathe out. Down dog with figure four legs, right hand down, bend your right leg. Now push your right thigh forward into your left ankle and widen your knees. Lift your glutes up. Call your rib cage four for three, two, three-legged dog, left leg high. Bend your knee, open up. Slowly flip your dog up and over. Rotate your rib cage up towards the sky. Interlace your left hand behind your skull. Now lean back, breathe in, breathe out. One more big breath in, high plank, both hands down, shift forward, protractions. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, exhale, protract. Inhale, squeeze, exhale, push. It feels like a micro movement, but it gives you so much power. Last five, four, arms straight, three, squeeze your thumbs towards your pinkies, two, pause in your protraction, breathe in, exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Come into a forward fold. Bend your knees a lot. All right, y'all, plant your hands on the ground. Puff the back of your heart up. Hover your heels. Wrist taps or toe taps, tap your toes to your wrists. You can look up here if you've never done these before. Squeeze your belly in and up. Bend your knees as much as you need to. And maybe you get halfway towards your wrists. If you're able to contact your wrist, see if you can lift up onto your forearms. 10, squeeze your belly in and up. Nine, eight, this is a great drill to do if you wanna practice pressing. Five, four, three, two, back into your forward fold, bend your knees, halfway lift. Walk forward to a high plank, I promise we'll do more later. Low plank, up dog, breathe in. Down dog, breathe out, bend your knees, look forward. Step or jump to the top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, gaze up. Hands to heart center, close your eyes.